everybody and welcome to an album review. Today we are going to be taking a look at the latest album from the band Winter Sun titled The Forest Seasons. So for those of you who may not know much about this band, Winter Sun is a band from Finland, I believe. Describing them is a little bit difficult because they have elements of a lot of different uh, subgenres of metal, such as uh, melodic death metal, power metal, symphonic metal, and uh, even a little black metal as well. They're kind of a difficult band to describe, but they are very, very good at what they do. And I don't really know why I'm saying they, because the majority of the stuff done by this band is done by one person, which I think is crazy. But um, they are a very good band from Finland. And they've released three albums over their, I think, almost 15 years of existence. Uh, and they just released this album, The Four Seasons, last year, and I'm going to be reviewing it. So as usual, I'm going to be talking about things that I enjoyed about this album and things that I disliked about this album. And then rather than doing my three favorite songs at the end, I'm just going to be ranking... Uh, the songs on it because there are only four songs so why bother doing my three favorites. So the first thing that I would like to mention is something that I already said which is that this is all done mo for the most part at least by one person whose name I'm not sure if I'm gonna pronounce correctly but it's Yari Manpa. He does pretty much all of the composition and recording for Winter Sun and I think that is just really awesome and very uh kind of cool about this band and it definitely takes a lot of work and shows how creative this person can be as for this album in particular the uh production and sound is pretty good as i usually like to point out about albums about what they sound like the production and the mixing and all of that sort of thing is pretty well done on this album everything sounds good as for the instruments uh everything in this album is pretty well done. The uh, guitar work is really, really good in this album, uh, kind of reminiscent of several different kinds of metal once again. Uh, in their previous work, it was uh, kind of inspired by power metal with some elements of black metal and melodic death metal. However, I think it's pretty much the opposite on this album, mainly reminiscent of black metal and melodic death metal and occasionally some power metal elements. Overall, the guitar work is very, very good, uh, pretty much across the entire album. The drumming throughout this album is also quite good. It's uh, very, in some parts, it's very technical, in other parts, it's not so much. It's um, This guy is clearly a very versatile drummer, and um, he can do a lot of different things. I also like the diversity that this brings uh, to the sound because different subgenres of metal have sort of a different drumming style to them. So sometimes it sounds more like power metal style of drumming, sometimes it's more like a lot of blast beats and stuff like that which is more reminiscent of black metal. So um, I really like that and sort of the diversity that not only other elements bring to the table but also the drumming. And one of my favorite things about this band is the uh, orchestral and synth parts that are put into the uh, music and in this album it is like their other two albums very very good. It really adds a lot to the sound and I really like orchestral and symphonic elements added in to both rock and heavy metal, same thing with electronics and synths and stuff, and this has a little bit of both of those. So I think that is really, really cool, and it definitely gives the album a bigger, more epic sound in a lot of places. As for the vocals, um, Yari is probably one of the best vocalists that I have ever heard. His kind of screaming vocals, because unlike a lot of other, like, Kind of mold. He has more of a black metal voice than a melodic death metal voice because it's more mid to high range screams rather than the low growls. He has really good screen vocals that fit very well with the sound. However, what I was really blown away by with 
this vocalist is the queen singing. Typically on an album like this, you wouldn't hear a whole lot of it, but there is a lot of it in this album and also in their other work. But this album, I think, has some of the strongest queen singing vocals in all of Winter Sun's discography. It is really, really good, and he has one of my favorite singing voices out of all of the vocalists I've ever heard. It fits the sound so well, and he has such a really great sounding voice and I think that uh, really adds a lot to the album especially in the songs The Forest That Weeps which is representing summer in the album because the four songs are split up into the four seasons and then also Loneliness which represents winter which is almost entirely clean vocals and um, that it really the clean vocals in this album are definitely a highlight. Like I mentioned earlier, I also enjoy the diversity on this album, even though it's only four songs. They are pretty long songs, like 12 to 14 minutes each. There is a lot of diversity in the vocals, in the uh, influences from different styles of metal, uh, and all of these different things. You got orchestral elements and electronic elements, elements of melodic death metal, black metal, power metal, all these things kind of come together into this one album, and it works together very well. And then as a last good thing about the album is the lyrics. I didn't really pay a whole lot of attention to the lyrics in this album, but from what I did pay attention to, they are quite good. As for negatives, there's really not much I have to say. This is a very, very good album. But um, really the only thing I could actually think of for negatives was that occasionally, and I mean occasionally, there are some dull moments, such as there's a part of the middle of the song, The Forest That Weeps, that uh, takes place about a middle in the middle of the song, where it just kind of gets really soft, and it's really, to me, not as interesting as the rest of the song or the album. And there are a couple of moments like that, that um, just kind of either slow things down or just kind of give the listener a bit of a break. Well, I do think it's good to do that from time to time, I just think it could have been done a little better. Overall, uh, this is a really, really fantastic album, and I would highly recommend that you check it out. Actually, this album did come out last year, and I did a top 10 albums of 2017 back in December, and I had this as an honorable mention because I hadn't listened to it a whole lot. But I'm sure that if I had actually taken the time to listen to this album beginning to end, it easily would have made, like, the top five. Uh, it is that good. As for ranking the four songs, I would say my favorite is probably Loneliness, uh, which is Winter, uh, mainly because of the Queen vocals. Overall, it's really good, but the Queen vocals, like I said, are a big highlight of the album and one of my favorite parts. So, of course, the song that features the most of them is one that I'm going to really enjoy. It's kind of hard to, for me to decide between spots two and three because I like them about the same. But I would say my second favorite is Awaken from the Dark Slumber, which is Spring. Uh, my third favorite would be The Forest That Weeps, which is Summer. And then my uh, least favorite song on the album is Eternal Darkness, which is Autumn. And that pretty much wraps up this video. What do you guys think of the album? If you have listened to it, and if not, you definitely should. Did you enjoy it? Did you somehow not enjoy it? Which I can't really comprehend. But uh, if you didn't enjoy it, then tell me why. If you did enjoy it, then tell me why. And um, all those sorts of things, leave them down in the comments below. And that wraps up this video, so I'll see you guys next time.